Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Smartsheet with Slack. First of all, we need to create ourselves uh, an account in uh, Smartsheet.com. Once we do that, we want to create, or if we already doesn't have uh, some, uh, some sheet created, we want to uh, test ourselves, uh, make ourselves a test sheet like I did like this. It's just basically, yeah, just one smart sheet, let's say. We have to find out if uh, we can integrate smart sheet, uh, smart sheet straight with uh, Slack uh, by going to the bottom left corner and we want to hit this apps and integration button. Now solution center. As you can see, there's a couple of add-ons, but we can't really make an integration with uh, Slack. Uh, what we want to do now, we want to go to the Zapier.com and we can, uh, yeah, we have to create an account here once again. Uh, once we do that and once we are done with creating our account, we want to go to our dashboard and we want to make a Zap which is on our top left corner. Now, after, after redirecting, or redirect, uh, we were redirected, we want to name it, or like we don't have to, but let's go with Smartsheet to Slack. Uh, right now, we have to create uh, the trigger event. The trigger event will come from will come from a smart sheet like this we hit the smart sheet now we have to trigger the event we can now go with uh, four events like update a row new attachment new comment or new row let's go with update a row we hit continue now we have to log in with the account that we created on a smart sheet like this continue and as you can see, uh, you, can, uh, you have to choose a sheet from here. Let's uh, choose the one that we created uh, and we named it test. Continue. And right now into actions, in the second action. The second action uh, will be Slack. Slack will be affected by what's happening in Smartsheet. So let's go with Slack. Uh, what will happen if we update the row in Smartsheet? Let's go with, I don't know, update the profile, for example. You can pick from all of those. Update profile, continue. And the last thing is just assign, sign into Slack and you are basically done. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.